Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So you'll have guessed what we're going to talk about this video by the title. Now this is a question I've been asked a lot of times. But first, speaking of questions, a lot of you have left comments on the Q&A and I can't thank you guys enough for your support and how much you guys loved that video. Got a lot of comments saying how funny it was, that I should do more of them, and absolutely I 100% will. Now to do more of them, I need your questions. So if you want to ask a question, go back to that video and drop it in the comments down below because I need plenty of questions to do a Q&A. A lot of you guys left a lot of support for the video and I can't thank you enough for that, but I also need questions, so... Go do that. Also, while we're off topic of Pablo's nails, shout out to Pugsley and their family. I can't remember whether you've told us your names or not, but shout out to you guys. You know who you are. I talked a little bit more about this on my own personal channel, so you can go check that out, but I'll refer to them as the Pugsley family. So the Pugsley family we bumped into in Ikea. Now they are subscribers. Now this is the first time I've ever bumped into it any subscriber myself. Chelsea's met one or two. Now that was such a surreal situation for me and I apologise if I was a bit essentially knocked back because I absolutely was. I didn't know what to say. This, like, obviously I do this and I understand that I have subscribers and people who will know my life inside out, but meeting someone who knows so much about you and you have no clue who they are, because I'm used to seeing usernames and pictures. Very surreal for me to physically meet one of you guys and if any of you do see us, do not be afraid to approach us like me and Chelsea have been talking about it for the last like two days about how amazing that was. So it'll make our day just as much as it makes yours. I did get absolutely stunned by them because they said, oh, I recognised you and I was like, where from? <laughs> but thank you guys for making our Sunday and you'll know who you are and thank you so much. Anyways, on with the topic at hand. Sorry to bore anyone who was just interested in that. We also bought Pablo a treat, but I'll show you that in the end not to waste any more time. So, how do we cut Pablo's nails? Now the short answer is, we don't. And the slightly longer answer is, we don't, but neither does anybody else. When he was a pup, his claws were incredibly sharp and we took him for a regular monthly health check. We were signed up to this puppy health check thing where you take him in every month and you'd pay a certain amount every month. You'll know the kind of things. So when we took him in, we used to just get his nails cut kind of every month and that was basically that. We just got the vets to do it. We didn't try and do it ourselves. At his 10 month health checkup, Basically, we got the 10 month and then it was 12 month and then it's just kind of as and when now. So we got his nails cut at 10 months and that was the last time we got them cut. Now that was just about four months ago now. We haven't cut his nails since, but his nails are absolutely fine. A lot of you have dogs, maybe you understand why we don't have to cut them. A lot of people will have to cut their dog's nails or get them cut. Like anything though, his nails aren't sharp, but if he catches you, it does hurt. But if I was to catch someone with my nails, it would also hurt. And my nails aren't sharp, so if he catches you right, it's gonna hurt anyways. But we take Pablo every day for at least a 40 minute walk ish depending on the weather and time we'll always take him to the park but if we don't take him to the park because it's too dark because obviously there's no light in there we'll take him on like a 45 minute walk just on pavements now taking them on pavement walks is really good for them because obviously as their claws are hitting the floor that's wearing them down so naturally over time if because we're so consistent with our walking his nails are at a stage now where they don't grow but they also don't get any shorter they basically just stay exactly the same because as soon as they get a little bit longer scuff on the pavement and they're short again. When we take him to the park as well, we take him down a gravel path. Now gravel paths are absolutely fantastic for dog's feet. You may or may not know, if you've ever taken your dog or if you plan to take your dog to a pebbled beach or something along those lines, their paws come back immaculately soft, immaculately clean because as they're putting their paw on pebbles, the rocks are like forming around them as such. And literally it's just like a dog pedicure to go on a pebble beach. They'll come back, the nails will be short, smooth the pads on the feet will be smooth so we're just fortunate enough really that where we take him is kind of naturally doing that anyways but his claws aren't sharp they aren't long so yeah that answers the question we don't cut pablo's nails because we don't have to now a lot of you will have different situations and a lot of you will probably have to cut your dog's paws not paws please don't cut your dog's paws just cut the nails now if you were to do them ourselves the thing i would recommend to anybody is do not try and cut them too short just cut the like the light side of the nail off just literally trim a tiny bit off do it more frequently just cut a little bit off you can pick up a pair of dog nail clippers very cheap from anywhere if pablo would let me grab his paw i'd show you but the nails basically have like two color pigmentation the dark bit is like the fleshy bit and then the light bit is obviously where there's nothing inside just like your own nails if you cut them too far back you start to cut into like the flesh that's formed on them it's exactly the same with dogs just cut the end bit that's like a light shade that's basically the bit that's dead 
that needs cut off. But honestly, I have no really recommendations on what to do because we don't do it. We never have. We've always took them to the vets and then now we just don't. So hope this clears things up because I know a lot of people have asked about this and just getting the response of we don't cut Pablo's nails maybe doesn't kind of explain exactly. So hopefully this clears everything up. Where do you go? Show me new stuff. So yeah, we went to Newcastle, which was where we met Pugsley and their family. We didn't meet Pugsley, we met... Okay. So, while we were there, we wanted to get Pablo a present, but unfortunately they didn't have the present we wanted to get him. So we're going to order it offline. So that'll be coming. But we did get him this. Pablo absolutely loves a blanket. He loves to sleep on us, so we always get new blankets regularly. You'll see he's got a Bear Max one. So we've got this alien one. Now this was in Primark for six pounds. That's all it was. So if you want to get one, get yourself to Primark. I don't know where the Primark's in America, but it's definitely in England. It's literally everywhere. It's like a plague. Hope you guys found. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button. And also any comment chat, drop them in the comments below because I will try and reply to as many as possible. And as always, people, peace out.